Hey guys, Jonathan Graham here. Today I'll be showing you a very unusual origami. So when you think of origami, take a square of paper and you fold it into something. And usually you'll have something that's rather angular, like this coaster that I taught quite a while ago. It's square or something three-dimensional is more rectangular, like this rectangular prism, which I'll actually be teaching this next week if you want to know how to fold this. But today we're going to do something completely different. We're going to make a marshmallow. And that is a marshmallow. As you can see, it is cylindrical, folded one from one uncut square of paper. This is a six inch square I made this one out of. And we'll be learning how to make this. So here we go. We're going to take, we're going to use this brown color because I've actually seen brown marshmallows before. And we're going to start with the white side up, or actually it doesn't matter which side's up first, we're going to make it fold into thirds. So we're just going to do this technique here to make it divided into thirds as exact as we can. Pinch it. And now we'll have the white side up and we're going to fold all the way through into thirds. And we're going to also divide into thirds the other way, but the other way we're going to do something a little different. Okay, it doesn't matter which side's up. We're going to divide it the thirds the other way. Pinch the ends. But this time when we fold it over, we're just going to crease the outer two thirds and not crease the middle. Fold this one over. And you're probably wondering how we're going to make this into a cylinder shape. Well, we will be doing that right away. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make our cylinder. We're going to pinch a circle here, and we want to make sure it's about, leave about a third to a quarter space here, and the bottom of our circle, say this is our circle, will be touching the third mark. So I start right at the third mark, find roughly the center, and start pinching around, um, just like this. I'll try to keep this in, in camera, just start pinching it really carefully. You want to leave a good, good, um, clearance, especially at the top, because if you don't, you won't have enough to, to um, lock it together. It's not going to be perfectly round, but close enough. Now we're going to do the same on this side. Start to make sure the bottom of the circle is actually part of the crease, and we're just going to start pinching. And, oops, I'll keep this in frame. Just using my fingers and pinching around in a circle, leaving ample amount of paper to on each side. So we'll just keep going. Of course it's not going to be perfect. Marshmallows aren't always perfectly round anyways. As you can see, it won't be perfectly round anyways. And now we're ready to, to shape this. So first what I do at the top, you can see our circle, we're going to do a little, we're going to kind of flute this. So we're going to kind of make little pleats and just get this ready for use later. So we're going to kind of flute the top there. It's almost like your, like the fluted sides of like a muffin cup or something like that. Pleated, I guess. And I'll do the same here. I'm just going to go along the circle and make little pleats and sort of fluting it a bit. And you'll see what that'll be for in a moment. That makes the final assembly a lot easier. Now we're going to make the actual side. We're going to fold on our third and we're going to start creasing, lining up this edge here to the circle and wrapping it around very carefully a bit at a time until you get to about the halfway mark or as far as you can wrap it around the circle itself. Like that. And you can kind of see how that's kind of a roundish shape. And we're going to do the same on this side. We're going to start at the bottom and just start lining up the edges, wrapping it around as far as we can up to there. So you kind of have this shape. Now we're going to repeat on this other side. Start creasing it around, wrapping this around, go to about there and then crease it off because we're going to finish it off here. And then we're going to take this and start wrapping around the circle. This is sort of tricky but, you know, it's a cylinder, it's, it's a difficult shape to make an origami, but this is how I do it. So we'll go about there. And now to finish it, we're going to sort of push in on our pleated area here and fold down inside here, just allow this to fold in like that. And on this side too, we're just going to push in on here, creasing this in. 
allowing it to sort of fold it on our fluted area to kind of be creased. Just kind of fold that in. The inside will look a bit messy, but that's okay. That'll be all hidden in the end. And now we're going to wrap these two around, making sure these are kind of cylindrical shaped or rounded. If there's any little flaps sticking out, just tuck them over. It's not going to be perfect. Marshmallows aren't always perfectly round anyways. And now this fluted area here, I'm just going to adjust a bit. And now we're going to tuck these in, but first I'm just going to kind of circle, make this sort of rounded here. Good time when I'm doing this. This is not a very easy model to make. And now you can see we have our marshmallow kind of shape. Now I'm going to take one of these flaps, it doesn't matter which one, and I'm just going to tuck, fold the corners over a bit to make it easier and just sort of roll it and roll this one. And you can see here we have several openings. We have this one, this one, I'm going to take the topmost pocket right here and tuck this flap, all these layers and the layers there, and this with it, into this uppermost pocket there. So there, and you just can tuck it in that uppermost pocket. Make sure all the other layers go in there too. And then you're going to push and just push this in. Careful not to make it square, you want to leave it round. And as you can see, again, it's not ever going to turn out 100% perfect because it's very difficult to make a cylinder with origami. However, this is the closest you can get. And as you can see, you have yourself a marshmallow out of origami from a square of paper, a fairly cylindrical object, probably about as cylindrical. If you practice making it, you can probably get a bit precise, more precise results like this one here. However, that's basic idea. Just try and just have fun experimenting how big you make your circles um, and see what works best. But basically, that is how you make a marshmallow or a cylinder, as the shape of it is, from a single uncut square of paper. And I hope you were able to make that one, and I will see you next time. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe.